What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and today we have my, well this is actually the final tryout video for the LBA. This battle was against Gearheart, I will leave his link in the description. And at this point, I was already in the LBA, uh, we were just doing battles to determine the order of drafting. Uh, I think Gearheart actually went into this battle wanting to lose so that he would be able to go last in the drafting process. And I was just so overjoyed to be in the LBA that uh, I was like, you know what, let's battle right now. And I, we took this battle right after I got off work. I was super freaking tired. But he had a really interesting bulky team. You can see we have some similar team synergy going on. Both with fairies, both with Hydreigon. Uh, he does have a Mega Swamp on his team. And I kind of misplay against that, which is my downfall. But that is okay, because I am able to come back from it in a sense. And Jellicent is going to be a decent answer to Tentacruel until I find out that he has Giga Drain, which is not something that I see very commonly on Tentacruels. Uh, typically, see, you see Tentacruel with Giga Drain when he's trying to deal with a specific threat. And that sucks, because now I can't really leave Jellicent in on it, because between the Acid Spray and the Giga Drain, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. Uh, I did just want to burn Tentacruel to make sure there was some residual damage, because you saw how pathetic my Shadow Ball was against this Tentacruel. I didn't want to rely on that little person of a damage. Uh, predicting some type of water type move, I decided to go on to High Dragon. Uh, I didn't think he'd keep on going for Giga Drain and Skull, because I could easily switch in Caesar on that, and Skull would punish Caesar for switching in. Now, of course, this is the Assault Vest High Dragon Triforce, and I'm just going to U-turn out of here, because I knew you would probably switch out not wanting to take a Draco Meteor, and I don't have Flash Cannon on him, which sucks. If I had Flash Cannon on my Hydreigon in this battle, it would have been a little bit different of a match. But I am able to go out into my Caesar, and it's time to uh, force some switches with some Life Orb attacks. Now, of course, this Caesar is carrying Swords Against Life Orb, and not U-Turn, but Bug Bite, uh, and uh, Bullet Punch. And I hit the Chestnut on the way in for a lot less damage than I expected to do to that thing. Uh, I just... I guess he was expecting me to U-turn now, so he goes for Spiky Shield, but I don't have U-turn, and I didn't want to risk Bug Bite not doing enough damage to him, so I just switched directly on the floor, just, just gonna go for a Wish here, and hopefully I can get my Manectric Mega Evolved at some point. I really wanted to switch it in, hopefully he would Wish, or he would go for some type of support move, but uh, in case he decided to go for Moonblast, I went out back on to Caesar, and he goes for a Heal Bell, so it's like, dang it, that would have been a good opportunity bring in my Manectric for evolution, Mega Evolution rather, and he does get rid of the burn on Tentacruel, so I will need to re-burn that thing later. Uh, I just don't really have any reliable way of hitting that thing except for my Manectric, and I can't really use electric attacks against it until I get rid of his Swamper, so. Here I predicted him to go into his Chestnut, so I went for Bug Bite immediately, and he actually brings in Swamper, which I did not see coming. Uh, I did think that I could outspeed Swamper because of this the rain was not up, and it's a Mega Swamper, and I figured I could probably outspeed it before he Mega Evolves. But he actually has max speed, probably Jolly, on his Swamper while I'm max speed adamant. So he outspeeds me and gets off a ton of damage with Earthquake. And now I only get one more attack on my Caesar, which really sucks. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead right now and switch out as he brings out his Espeon and then doubles onto his Hydreigon. Which was really risky. If I had just gone for Bug Bite, I would have immediately knocked out his High Dragon. Uh, but um, he's actually going to go for his own U turn on his High Dragon. And now this gives me an opportunity to wish again. And I didn't really know what to expect from his Espeon. Since he was having a few unconventional sets already, I was thinking maybe he's the Calm Minds Door Power set. He can also pass Wish and Baton Pass and Calm Minds with Espeon as well. But I ended up trying to bring in Manectric here. And he goes directly for Psy Shock, which was a little bit scary because that almost immediately KOs me. But now, uh, I'm just going to switch back on to Triforce here, expecting another Psy Shock. And he goes for a Baton Pass, and that sucks because that was another opportunity I could have had to Mega Evolve. I was afraid he'd get a crit or I'd be on too little HP after Mega Evolving, after being hit by another Psy Shock to really make it worth my while. Uh, so now I'm going to U turn, we're going to go back out into another Pokemon here, excuse me. And this is a good opportunity to try to set up another Wish. I need to keep, that's basically the theme of this battle, 
is just we're us trying to keep our teammates healthy as long as we can. Uh, and it's funny that this ended up being such a long battle because we didn't, neither of us really brought stally Pokemon. Like the only thing that I have that can recover its HP is my um, Florges. Meanwhile, the only thing he really has, he has Wish on his Sylveon and Giga Drain on Tentacool. And I haven't had an opportunity to get up any entry hazards yet. So there just hasn't been a good moment to do so. We're forcing switches constantly. And here I expected him to go for Scald. I was hoping he might go for uh, uh, his poison attack, the acid spray. But unfortunately he gets the burn, which sucks because now my longevity is demolished right there. I will finally get a chance to Mega Evolve and go for a Volt Switch. Uh, with Swampert out of the way, that that really just opens a road for my Manectric. But since I'm burned, I really need an opportunity to go into Floridus and use Heal Bell. So, we're going to go ahead and Volt Switch right now. I knew he would switch just because why would he stay in? Even though he probably could take a single Thunderbolt, he wouldn't be able to KO me back. Uh, I think this is a decent opportunity to set up my entry hazards, so I go out and judge Tread just for that. Uh, I knew he still had Espeon left, so there's no reason to try to set up my entry hazards yet. I'm just going to go straight for Earthquake, and that works out nicely. This is a max attack Don fan, and so I'm able to finish off Espeon in a single Earthquake, and now I can definitely set up my entry hazards. Unfortunately, uh, that means that I might have to risk taking a Grass type attack to do so, which I don't really want to do. And that means I need to go out and two floor just one more time. And he surprises me by going for Belly Drum. Uh, and I went and looked at the speed tiers for Chestnut really fast. And he, do and he doesn't have a Salak Berry. I think he may have given Chestnut the wrong berry. I'm not really sure. Uh, but without a Salak Berry, he doesn't outspeed me. So I just Moonblast him in the face. And I think he just may have had the wrong item on his Chestnut there or something. I'm, I'm not really sure what was going on there. But... Wow, really? People honking in the parking lot? No, it's not the time. Not the time. Calm down out there. Um, so once again, out into Assault Vested. Triforce here on the attacks from Tentacruel. And even after the minus two, I take that really nicely. And I thought that he would stay in, so I just went for Draco Meteor. Yes, it is completely uninvested, but I wanted to see how much it would do. And man, is he specially defensive, because that just did pitiful damage. Um, normally Hydreigon special attack stat, even uninvested, allows me to do a decent amount of damage. Uh, but he does make a good move going for Sludge Bomb. He gets the Poison Hack, so he's gotten the Scald Burn and the Poison Hacks so far. And I just need to burn the Tentacruel again. But unfortunately for me, I missed the stupid Will-O-Wisp. Uh, and so that that's going to be it for Sir Stash here, because now Tentacruel's not burned. I have no way to really reliably damage it outside of Manectric because Donphane is slower than it, so I can't use ground attacks from it without really risking a Scald Burn. Uh, so that miss really, really hurt. And so now I'm going to go back out into my Manectric to scare him out one more time. And I know he's probably going to switch into Sylveon, so I went for Thunderbolt just to get a little bit more damage. But he actually ended up staying in. Um, I was surprised by that. I guess he stayed in and went for Acid Spray, expecting me to Volt Switch. But now I can almost, if I had hit him with uh, the burn, I would have been able to 2 a KO him with Thunderbolt easily. But that uh, that does force him out, so I now know, okay, definitely go for Volt Switch now, because he's not going to stay in. And so I'm able to Volt Switch out, this gives me a free opportunity to go back into Iris, and I can definitely use Florges to, to, to hopefully here, I wanted to really go for Heal Bell. I wanted to get rid of the burn and um, hopefully see what he was going to go for. But since he went for a Thunder Wave, um, I'm going to be using Heal Bell a little bit earlier than I predicted. I wanted to use Wish and, and kind of just play some shenanigans there. But unfortunately, I get paralyzed as he U-turns out, which gives him a free switch back into his own Sylveon, which is just annoying because that means he gets a free wish or something. I would have loved to have gotten rid of the Paralysis and the Burn on that turn and not be in a position where he gets a free turn like that. Uh, he, for wanting to lose, the game should have given him a lot of hacks in his favor, I will say that. Very annoying. Uh, so we both go for our healing moves. He goes for the aromatherapy as I go for my heal bell. Teammates are once again healed of status. I am liking Iris more and more as, um, one of, oh, I'm sorry, Florges. This one is nicknamed Iris. That's one of my favorite fairy types. Uh, 
It's just so versatile, and then it has a nice special attack stat, so that it's not kind of sitting and and being just attack fodder uh, or setup fodder rather. The only bad thing is is that it doesn't have a very good ability that's good for singles. Um, so I finally do set up Stealth Rocks. I took that Moonblast a little bit worse than I was expecting to. I was trying to decide if I should just outright attack him or set up Stealth Rocks, and I thought maybe I can live another one. Maybe he got a high roll in that Moonblast, and unfortunately he too KOs me, which sucks. Um, I, and, and looking back on it, it would have been better to go ahead and go for Earthquake, because I would have forced him to go for Wish, and then I could have set up my Stealth Rocks. Um, that's the order I probably should have done that in. But either way, I have my stealth hooks up, finally. He can just come in with Tentacle and spin them away, but my plan is to keep enough pressure on him so that he is unable to do so, basically. Uh, so he is able to get the special attack drop on that Moonblast, and that kind of puts me in a position where I'm just going to wish, because if I use Moonblast on my own, it's not going to do very much damage, unfortunately. And he actually ends up doing the same thing. So with that, it's just a matter of trying to predict what he's going to switch into, and I think he's going to try to predict what I switch into. It's really tempting to just try to switch into Caesar, but at any point he could just go for Moonblast and knock out Caesar on the switch in. And so I'm going to go out into Galvani instead and hope that he doesn't get the special attack drop. Uh, and he does go for Moonblast, so I'm happy I didn't try to switch in Caesar. And unfortunately, he knocks out Galvani with the Moonblast. And I was like, crap, that was not a good turn at all. I definitely thought I could live. A little bit easier than that. I, don't, I just wasn't expecting that to KO my Mega Manectric. Um, just wow. Not not expected at all there. So here I double out into Hydreigon expecting him to go out into uh, his Tentacruel, but he actually doubles out into his own Hydreigon. And I know I can take his Hydreigon one on one just because I'm Assault Vested. Uh, so, and I just decided to go for a U turn there because that would kind of be my best attack generally against this high dragon. I didn't want to go for Draco Meteor in case he switched into Sylveon. All those good shenanigans aren't going to happen. And if I go for U-Turn, of course, that allows me to put a little bit more pressure on him. Once again, I go out into Caesar just to scare him out. Even if he's a defensive Sylveon, he does not want to take a bullet punch. Granted, I only have one hit from Life Orb left, so if I had one more HP point, then I would have been able to do two hits from Life Orb, which would have been nice. Uh, and he, unfortunately, he calls my bluff right there. And he stays in and goes for Protect just to see what I was going to do. And it sucks that he has Protect because now he'll be able to predict what, I, what I'm actually going to attack with Caesar and when I'm going to switch it out. Uh, now as he switches into his uh, Tentacruel, I went for Moonblast, which sucks. I, I really was thinking he would predict me to go out into Caesar, and then he'd switch into Hydreigon. That's what I predicted him to do right there. So that's unfortunate because he's going to be able to go for Acid Spray or Rapid Spin. He'll be able to do whatever he wants, basically. And Acid Spray doesn't do much on the first hit, but it does lower my special attack. And basically, I'm just stuck Moon Blasting him here because I don't have anything I want to switch out into. Uh, it really would have been nice to have Psy Shock on my um, Floor just at this point. But you can always look back in, in those situations with incredibly great perception because it's it's hindsight but that's okay I'm just gonna stay in here do a, as much damage as I can until I'm at least trying to force him to switch out he is getting special attack special defense drops but I'm getting special attack drops from my moon blast and he's we're kind of at a little bit of a stalemate at this point it's come down to I have my forges my hydreigon and my Caesar with one life or pit left and he has his tentacool his Hydreigon, and his Sylveon. Um, at any point, I'm trying to kind of predict when I can switch in my... I want to force him to keep on going for these Poison-type moves, because it would be really cool to switch in Caesar on one of those Poison-type moves and get a Wish Up, but obviously he's predicting that very nicely, and I'm unable to switch in my Caesar because he can just go for Scald on that turn, so I just ended up leaving an Iris going, it's way too obvious when I'm trying to switch in Caesar. I need... I just needed a, a, an eject button that I can just pop into the battle at any point, basically. Um, so I ended up switching in High Dragon here. I figured I could take him out from that point with a Dark Pulse, hopefully. He goes for Sludge Bomb, and that does pitiful damage. I was like, please take him out with a stupid Dark Pulse. I'm so tired of looking at the Squishy, and I finally take out the Tentacool. Man, if Minestra had not gotten knocked out that early in the battle, that would have made that a lot easier. 
But now that Tentacool is out of the way, I can. I was just hoping for a flinch on the Sylveon because I figured I could put it into a range where he'd want to wish if I could flinch him a few times. I'm unable to get that. And of course, I can't take a quad effective stab, super effective uh, Moon Blast. And so I'm, I'm going down there. And that actually was a misplay. I should have just gone out in the floor just. That would have been the better play to do right there. So I'm going to go on to Caesar now. And I've been switching Caesar out so much that I was expecting him to just stay in. Um, expecting the Bug Bite or something like that. But he actually goes out into his High Dragon at this point. And I was impressed with how much damage that did. Uh, but that's going to be my last Life Orb hit. Which means I'm down to just Iris. And that's exactly why I should have saved my Hydreigon, because if I had just gone into Forges on the last time, instead of letting Hydreigon get KO'd by the Moonblast, then I'd be in the same situation, but I'd be up a Pokemon. So now it's going to be down to just Fairy versus Fairy at the end of this battle, and it's going to come down to who can get the most special attack drops, basically, because I'm faster, but I think his attacks are doing a little bit more damage. So... Um, it's just going to be a Moonblast War. I'm going to speed this up horrendously because this takes quite a while. Uh, I cannot really express how long this took at the time. And unfortunately, he gets crits on me almost as much as I get the special attack drops. So he kind of he renders my special attack drops ineffective. And neither of us are going for Wish. Um, I think he didn't go for Wish because he thought he, he, he wanted to lose. And I didn't go for Wish because... I just thought I would be able to knock him out. But he actually gets two crits in that whole scenario. And that equals my loss in a very close 1 uh, one battle, excuse me. But that's okay. Now I'm in the LBA. I'm just really low on the seed list. And that means the next battle that I upload will be my first LBA battle from week one. So look forward to that, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye now.